Okay, well, we are at the property. And I'm going to start looking for a Christmas tree. Uh, let's see. A couple of nice ones over here, it looks like. But the problem is, is a lot of times they're, the trees are nice on one side, and then the other side is like not good. Or the tops are too bare. They can't be too tall, even though I can take the tops off. That's what I've got the pole saw along for. Um, but if they get too tall, then the, the bottom of the tree is so wide it won't fit in my tree stand. This tree here. Oh, that one's way too bare. Um, and I want at least a seven foot tree. Seven foot top, at least. That's kind of a nice looking tree, but. And I could trim it down, but that would, I would have to take the whole tree. And I don't want to do that. If you take the top, then they still can keep growing. I've never actually looked over this direction in the property to, for a tree. So I was thinking I, maybe there's something over the last years that I've been looking. Four trees over here. Maybe something over here I had missed over the years. <sighs> the air smells really cool. It's like, it smells like uh, burning leaves. I love that smell. A lot of small Christmas trees in here, but future, future trees, quite a few of them through here, you know, all these, I'm going to have to come in here and thin these out a little bit so they get to, they don't get crowded, and then that's why a lot of times they have a one side's bare and the other side is good. And some of these trees are like back in here like this. They not going to do that good because they're being shadowed by the tall trees. So they're not getting the sun that they would need to really flourish. So that's a potential for trees. Oh, that tree. It's a little short. There was one that I saw when we were out here before. When I we took that walk up on the hill. Yeah, these are all the blackberry bushes. I can't really get through there. Even though I've got some thick pants on today, it doesn't those thorns will still find their way through stuff. I didn't realize it's really a nice coat of moss through here. Yeah, this is a big blackberry bush stand here. Through here. I should have came back the way I went in. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's not much in the way of underbrushing here because of the 
being shadowed by the big trees. And I could go with a smaller tree, but I we got decorations I like to put out. So we need to have a certain size tree to accommodate those. I love this time of year. Oh my goodness, it's like the smells of the, the air. And the, there was, as I was pulling out of the driveway, it was snowing actually. Oh wow, that's a, right there, that's a, a buck scrape. Pretty big size one too. So the buck's been walking through here and there's a pretty good trail going through right there. It's been working. So the bucks are coming in here. There's a, on the side of that hill right there, thought I saw a tree the other day when I was over here. But I didn't get a chance to go up and look at it close, but we're gonna do that right now. Yeah, you probably couldn't tell in the video. This is a pretty steep little hill right here. Yeah, that's that I think that's the one I was thinking about, but really spindly at the top. So it's not or that one. Pass all these those little alder trees and things like that. This is where we get all of our sand for the sandbox. This is a really nice sand pit right here, side of this hill. Oh, it's grown up in between that, that one I was thinking, or this one. Hmm. So then if I cut the one that's got too spindly at the top, I'd have to trim it down. And then it's way too wide to fit the star and the angel on it. Yeah. Not much luck up here either. Now that this tree right here. Whoa. <laughs> this is a <laughs> that's called rotted. <laughs> See if there's any ants in that. There's a tree right down there. Yeah, all the trees up here, these are all rotted. really speedily you know if it, it's bare on one side it's fine because I can always put the tree up against the wall but if it's spindly at both top and the middle youch thorns <laughs> Looks like a deer bed right here. Deer bedding down.
trees over there still have leaves on them. The wind blowing through them. I thought it was snow falling for a second. Oh, this is a really beat down deer trail. Deer are really using this one. There's deer scat. tree might have promise. See, these split off at the very top into two. Could probably... See, it's just, it's so thick. At the top,
Yeah, some fat rat bushes in here. Found that one the hard way. Okay, I think I... I think that's it right there. It's nice and thick. A little spindly at the top, but I can always trim it down a little bit to where it's thicker. Trim the branches back. Should be tall enough. It's close to the trail. Yeah, that's gonna be the one. Oh, we're making our way back to the tree. I had to grab my, my saw. I wanted to show you exactly what I, I saw on my way back. There's a deer are definitely active in here. This is a buck scrape. Way over. Pretty good size deer track in it, too. Right there. Bunch of tracks in it. So the bucks have been working it quite a bit. So. And they're definitely moving through. I was contemplating setting my trail cam up over here. Okay, well, here we are. This is the one I'm thinking right there. A little narrower than usual, but different. That makes all the trees different. It's the exact same tree every year. If we the exact same tree every year, we'd just get one of those fakies. Okay. That's the one. I want to make sure. Good thing I got the full because there's a lot of blackberries between me and the tree. Uh, saw is really nice for this right there. Yeah, I'll have to trim the top up a little bit. It's a little spindly up here, but it's thin enough up here to make so that I can cut it to where we can put the angel on it. how tall it is. I'm usually pretty good at judging how tall. Yeah, so a little bit gonna be a little shorter than most years, but we'll have it up on the stand and doesn't have to be super tall. And it's good this side's really nice and full. And then the back is kind of empty that we can use that for up against the wall so it won't take up as much of the dining room that way too so that will work okay well i'm gonna go get it in the blazer and head home with it
thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.